Now let's look at the radiator compartment and its subsystems. We'll begin with the electrical equipment cooling system. This equipment blower assembly provides cooling air to the traction motors in the rear truck. The filtered air is forced into the traction motors. Dirty air from the filters is exhausted into the radiator cab by the exhauster blower attached to the equipment blower. The air compressor is AC motor driven. It is designed to provide near optimum train charging with the diesel engine running at idle. The air compressor must be off before checking or adding lubricating oil. The local control circuit breaker located on the second row of breakers on the EC panel must be turned off before performing either procedure. The oil dipstick is used to determine lubricant level. Oil may be added through the fill cap. The cooling system maintains a nearly constant engine operating temperature with a pressurized wet radiator system. Two radiator sections are used and they each have their own shutters. The radiators are cooled by a single fan that is controlled by the radiator fan panel. The rear sander cutout cock is inside the radiator compartment beneath the sandboxes. Control area 9 houses the air compressor drive contactors and the traction motor blower sensor. The entrance to control area 9 is protected by a door interlock switch that opens with the door dropping out the control contactors. The air compressor control panel is next to control area 9. The panel houses the air compressor control devices and the shutter control valves. The compressor governor switch, CGS, provides an input signal to the X controller for the operation of the air compressor. The compressor magnet valve is used to load the air compressor during pumping operation. The compressor cutout cock is used for maintenance. Extra equipment found in the radiator compartment includes a basic toolbox and as an additional safety feature, a fire extinguisher. <laughs>